welcome viewers for another video today we will discuss about uh, ratio controller and uh, the learning objective of this tutorial is to set up ratio controller in s1 Hises. so let's move straight to the problem statement on which we are going to practice so uh, this is a simple uh, mixture uh, in which two streams both are water stream one is hot stream another one is the cold stream are passing through this mixture so our objective is we have to maintain a ratio between hot water and cold water so here we are going to uh, uh, set up a ratio controller so how we will do it so let's move to the aspen high seas for complete demonstration so now we are in aspen high seas so the first step is we have to specify the components which are going to participate in the simulation in this case there is only one component that is water so we have selected water next step is we have to select fluid package for thermodynamic property estimation so as there is only water so the asm is steam would be a nice option to go so now go to the simulation uh, tab click on it and now so now you are in simulation environment so just select from uh, model palette uh, window a mixture drop it into the simulation canvas and also select three different valves control valves that we will need to build the simulation okay so close this one just double click on valve i will change its name valve one and uh, here inlet is hot water and the outlet is i will say one and the pressure uh, difference or the pressure drop is 0 0.1 across this valve okay then close this one similarly go to the second valve i will say it is valve number two and the inlet is uh, cold water and the outlet is two and again go to the parameters and specify the pressure drop here again the pressure drop is 0 0.1 bar just close this one okay so double click on mixture so the in inlet streams are uh, one and two and the outlet stream i will say three okay then close this one and then double click on this valve so i will say it is valve number three and the inlet is three and outlet is i will say water out okay similarly the pressure drop for this valve is also 0 0.1 bar okay so after uh, building the uh, simulation now just specify the inlet streams so the hot water double click on it uh, the uh, specification is given in powerpoint you can see hot water the flow rate is 100 kg per hour pressure is 4 bar and temperature is 75 degree c so let's specify this so 75 degree C is temperature, 4 bar is pressure and uh, mass flow rate is 100. Okay, so as it's uh, pure water, so in uh, composition tab just uh, press 1 and now you can see uh, it is fully specified this stream similarly we can uh, see the specification for cold stream the temperature is 20 degrees c and rest of the parameters are same okay so double click on here on cold water stream so the temperature is 25 degrees c pressure is 4 bar gauge flow rate is 
100 kg and then go to the composition press 1 and press ok okay so now you can see the simulation is uh, fully converged uh, before moving to the uh, uh, dynamic simulation let's first we have to size these well so double click on this one go to the rating and uh, at 50 percent opening flow rate is 100 kg per hour we have to size this valve just click on this button that is okay similarly for this valve go to the rating tab and uh, then just press size valve so we also size this well similarly go to the third well in rating and we have to size this one as well okay so we already have sized the valves uh, the next step is we have to set up a ratio controller that is the main objective of this tutorial for that go to the flow sheet uh, tab and select models and stream window and from there select dynamics and control and from here you can see the ratio controller so click and drag it here into the simulation canvas close this one so uh, double click on the uh, ratio controller so the process variable source so we want to have a uh, ratio between stream 1 and stream 2 so the process variable here uh, the object would be the uh, stream number 1 okay so 1 and uh, the process uh, parameter or the process variable that we want to change is mass flow okay mass flow of uh, water okay and uh, the output or the targeted object for the control how, how to control these uh, how i mean how to maintain this uh, ratio by closing valve number one because the stream one is our control uh, process variable at this time we are entering the specification for controlled uh, variable process variable okay so click here and uh, the valve number one is our uh, target in that case select this one now come here and click on this drag down button and click the reference so we until now we select the main or the control variable now what would be the reference so the reference would be the uh, stream number two select number two and here mass flow okay so select mass flow now you select it so now you uh, set up the ratio controller but we have to specify some further things for example uh, we have to specify the ranges so for one the control i mean for stream one or the first variable or the control variable the minimum value and the maximum value for process variable and similarly for uh, 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 number two i mean uh, the reference variable the minimum value and the maximum value okay so you can see uh, now it is fully specified go to again uh, uh, configuration so uh, the kc value is one and ti value is also given that is one you can see in powerpoint the uh, control variable range and the reference variable range both are 0 to 1000 and kc and integral time both are equal to 1 okay so uh, at this time it says the ratio is 1 so this is our set point that we want to change uh, uh, later on okay so uh, I just 
uh, want to create a strip chart for this controller okay so uh, create strip chart and display it i will close this one and uh, connections uh, i will have a face plate for this and then close this one okay so now it's time to move from a steady state uh, simulation environment to the dynamics for that just click on this dynamic mod okay and then dynamic assistant will appear so here just double click on this mycelius specification changes because here it will we just did not specify the dynamics of the uh, 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 mixture so from here we can specify as well and rest of them we can say make changes and now we are ready to run our dynamic simulation okay so when we will run you can see how uh, the ratio controller uh, will behave so just click on run right click and auto scale all axes so it says 100 kg uh, sorry first we have to uh, change the controller mode from manual to automatic okay and then run again okay so let's change the uh, uh, set point okay so instead of having a ratio one we can have a ratio of 0 0.5 as a set point for this and then run and see so you can see the current ratio here is 0 0.5 and uh, the set point is 0 0.5 so similarly if i just slowly increase 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 you can see the immediate effect and then 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 okay and similarly 0. Point, uh, maybe 0.9 so okay so actually you can have uh, this ratio by process variable that is this one control variable divided by the reference variable so you will have this ratio okay so similarly if i press one so all these lines will be matched you can see here but if we go from 1 to maybe 1.5 then the trend will change and opposite okay the reference is less and the control variable is higher so this is a very simple way and very easy to uh, set up uh, a ratio controller in Aspen Hisis. I hope you understand it and like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Until next video, bye bye.